the excitement is just beyond anything I could imagine. It's been nearly 40 years since the Floresville Marching Band has made it to state. This week, they're headed there and they're putting the final touches on their big performance. Honestly, I think the reason that we had the success this year is just the grit that the kids have. Uh, th their devotion and dedication to what we're doing is just beyond anything I could have imagined. The entire Floresville community is buzzing about the Mighty Tiger Band, and you're going to hear them roar this week at the 4A 2022 State Marching Band Competition, something band director Jim Cathy is very proud of. It has been 38 years since the band has gone to the State Marching Contest. This is my 18th year at the high school. There's a, a qualification period, sort of a playoff. Uh, you have to get a superior rating at the region contest, uh, then you go to the area contest where there's a rank system. There were 32 bands uh, at that contest and we placed third overall. They take six that qualify to the state marching contest and so that's where we are. Uh, and we're still making improvements now. You would think after four months that maybe we're sort of peaked out but they're still working hard and we're still making improvements. Carolina Estrada is the drum major, a senior here at Floresville High School. She tells me band has helped her on so many levels. I can definitely say band has defined me into like who I am as a person. Coming in my freshman year and seeing all the upperclassmen and seeing everything that they're involved definitely influenced me and showed me how I want to be as a student and I'm going to continue to do that when I go to college. We all work hard. It takes a team like parents, the, the band directors, it takes a village to like make this happen and knowing like state it's like insane like I'm glad that I could say my senior year at Floresville we got to state. While the Mighty Tiger Band has been working towards this for decades this year seems extra special for junior Gabriella Gilliam. She's still unable to march because of some lingering health effects due to COVID-19 yet she's still able to compete this year starting off the show with the solo. It was upsetting because my freshman year we didn't get to do any of that either because of COVID and so it was just upsetting that I didn't get to do it either uh, my sophomore year so it was just I wasn't able to march again my endurance wasn't there. Mr. Kathy told me that I was just so I was just so happy and so thankful for him that I was going to be a part of the show still without marching and that I get to do this. One thing's for sure, there's no lack of encouragement here in Floresville. There's signs all over town. I, I went to the paper yesterday and there was a big good luck MTB sign in the window. Yet, yeah, everything has just been amazing. I'd like to give so much credit to the, the, the team that we have, the band directors that we have. Everybody wants the same thing, which is we want our kids to be good people and be successful. I am unbelievably proud of everybody. I'm just, I'm so grateful and so happy that we're getting to go to state. I'm, we're just ready, I'm excited. All right, there's a big community celebration happening tomorrow, 7 p.m. at the football field here at Floresville High School. They're continuing to practice and they're ready for the big day. For more information, head to SALive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Doesn't that just give you shivers? Oh, it does. They work so hard and look at that. They're amazing. I know. They had a great time going.